The purpose of this video is to demonstrate our learning approach and methodology when producing e-learning. Prior to recording, we would fully script the module so that the correct business examples and messages are included. This particular example uses the Contoso AX2012 build to demonstrate how to produce a simple sales order. Typically, we begin by introducing a facilitator or course guide. The same facilitator would be used across all the e-learning modules and helps to give a face to training. In the bottom right hand corner there is a how to use this course link to support first time users. This example also has a link to the main menu. This is an example of a main menu that provides the user with access to a variety of different modules. You may wish to build an online menu structure or deploy your e-learning modules via a learning management system. The user simply clicks on the module they are interested in. This slide explains the module in more detail and the same facilitator is used to offer further guidance to the user. It contains a series of navigation buttons in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I am being asked to select next to move on. This is a simple process workflow, a common feature of many of the e-learning modules we produce. It details the sales order process from start to finish and enables the end user to understand their role within it. The facilitator suggests here that the user should hover over the different areas of the screen to find out more information. Finally, we are asked to click Next. The concept of e-learning is to attempt to simulate the experience of using the live system. Here we can see the area page of the home module for Dynamics AX 2012. The facilitator's text box uses a two-color format. The black text denotes an instruction or an explanation introducing best practices or compliance messages. The white text denotes an instruction. Notice on this screen that the next button has been greyed out. An area of the screen has been outlined in red and the facilitator is instructing the user to select accounts receivable. The e-learning is simulating how the user would navigate in the live system. The following screen uses a similar technique and the next button continues to be greyed out. The e-learning module continues to mimic the steps required in the system to open up the sales order form. Completing the form is also done with the support of the end user. They may be required to select data from a drop-down or use the next button to complete a process or even type data into a field. Data validation rules are set on all text entry fields if the user enters the incorrect value, they will be given additional information so that they can try again. In this example, the user is asked to select the tab key to move to the next field because this is what they would do in the live system. Finally, the all sales order screen confirms that the order has been saved. Many of our e-learning modules contain quiz slides. These can take a number of different formats, such as multiple choice, drag and drop exercises or screen hotspots. This example informs the user immediately if they get the answer right. The following slide example is a multiple choice. If they submit the incorrect answer, then they will be given the correct answer in a message box. If there is any additional learning or points of reference, this can be included at the end of the module. We always use a next step slide to complete the module and point users towards any supporting or additional learning. The last slide provides the user with their quiz slide results. And that's it. E-learning should be simple, interactive and get all of your key messages across to the user. Thanks for listening.